Hi, I'm Yan Li, and this is our project on the performance and evaluation of the VO building in Perth. Perth has a warm climate requiring proper insulation and shading throughout the year. Our analysis of the VO of the building has applied positive and cooling technique. However, test results using Safari has solved the building is getting too hot during summer. The mechanical cooling is littered. The fiber conduct track solved the issue with the walls and roof, which are losing and grazing the most heat. The current timber truss roof and the concrete walls of the ULU is not efficiency enough. We had a liquid building. The window grazing is performing well enough, but the building fiber will require alteration in order to reduce the building solar radiation gain. The apartments have great ventilation and enough lighting in the living area. However, the lighting analysis has solved the building is getting enough light in the center of the building, therefore consuming too much energy. The current integrated greenery is limited to the first floor and it is inaccessible. It is the only very little effect on the building performance. Also, the current water system had not mentioned about the use of the recycled water and grey water system in order to reduce the building water consumption. The current water and electricity system is using the solar panels to help reduce exclusive electricity costs and also reduce carbon emissions. I mind my part is about analyzing the precedent building. The SSCB Zero Carbon Building is a sustainable building with zero net energy consumption. That has a unique roof structure which helps draw fresh air from the roof of the building with the air cooling tube to reduce the heat in summer. The roof contains sensors movable PV panel to capture direct sunlight and reflect it inside. The Pixel building provides its own water balance and power on site. It collects the rainwater from the roof and treats it from interior fixture. Green water gets filtered and used for the plants. The Fumbury house has a spot gun facade with a low UV. The house to absorb the heat in the walls for longer. The angle that bringing the direct sunlight into the interior in winter while protecting the house for unwanted sun exposure in summer. The Prince Terrence has been decided to maximum the natural daylight with effective shading and passively heat and cool the building throughout the year. The Mondura House staircase is located in the center of the building. Open to ventilation and lighting increase the building's performance. This allows the elements to access the hard to reach areas of the building. The final building is the Commons. It used the vertical green facade to provide shading for its northern Facade reducing the summer sun and allow the winter sun once the leaves has fallen. These elements provide stormwater management, thermal protection, and helps absorb 50% of the direct sunlight and reflect the other 13%. The building also has the light rails to increase building light in the center of the building and connect to apartments. Hi, I'm John and here to present about the refund recommendation we made by studying President's buildings. For the roof park, Carl activates the roof area and put planters boxes there and planter at the balcony area for resisting wind and heat by the idea of vegetation in commons in Melbourne as reference. And Mike used zero carbon building in Hong Kong as reference to raise up the PV panels for providing spaces to roof garden while keeping the existing function of PV panels. Also, then it takes the idea of water conservation in piece of buildings in Melbourne CBD as reference to create a rainwater and grey water recycle system and store water in the basement level for water conservation and help to release the internal heat. Furthermore, I make function rooms at three new sublevels 
in the middle of staircase to enhance the relationship from floor to floor and allow fresh air comes in through the function rooms into staircase and corridor areas by the idea of common area as sublevel to connect the apartments in modular house in France as reference. Last but not least, Michael has to put timber cladding on the facade to improve the U value of floor by the idea from Turbury House in Brabran and change the canopy at entrance area to glass canopy by providing more lateral lights into the tenancy areas and entrance lobby by the idea of Princess Terrace in Adelaide. Hi, I'm Zainab and I'll be discussing the test results from the applied recommendations to the Fior. With the improved U values through the additional insulation provided for the walls and the roof, we have reduced the building's heat gains and losses, reducing the need for more mechanical cooling and heating. The roof and walls were the original problem in the building design as they were losing and gaining the most heat. The green roof, canopy and spotted gum around the facade helped to create this additional insulation. However, the building's energy usage and carbon emissions have increased due to the reduction in solar panels to allow for the open space on the roof for the green garden. The building is now using electricity from the grid to power the lighting and equipment. However, the energy use intensity has reduced from 66 to 38, showing a 42% improvement in the building's performance using fan coil units and central plant HVAC system. We tested the other systems like water source heat pump with fan coils and the package terminal AC but the building's performance hadn't shown improvement in the cooling equipment and increased the energy use between 4 to 13 percent. We have improved the building's solar shading by using the planter and detached green walls on the balconies to eliminate the summer sun and allow in the winter sun. But there are still issues with increasing the light in the centre of the building with the lighting usage still at a high. The benefits of the greenery can't be measured using Sapphira, but secondary literature has presented many benefits to the building's performance, its occupants and the surrounding environment like reducing the building's temperature, improving air quality and increasing biodiversity. Hi, I'm Wing Luke Michael Chen. Through our discussion, we agreed to apply my idea on timber cladding facade with blades for better U-value rate. It reduced heat transfer and thermal bridges. John's idea on creating sublevel improves the ventilation while provide extra function room for each level. For Mike, Zainab and Yanis idea may have conflict as they will all make changes on the roof. Therefore, we agree to combine everyone's idea. Provide area for green roof to absorb heat from sunlight and have canopy with PV panel for reduced direct sunlight on the roof and provide solar power for water heating system. Instead of installing rainwater tank on the roof, it will be installed at the basement level and apply direct water system to provide rainwater for irrigation. Once we finalize our idea, we have combined our design and data into one model and run our simulation. It results a better energy efficiency and than the original building. We propose a few holistic recommendations to further improve our building. Provide light wells at the center of the building. It increase natural lighting at the center area. Employ LED lights for all lighting device to further reduce electricity use. Reduce accessible green area with plants that don't require direct sunlight. This will allow a larger canopy to sit over the roof. Then increase the PV panel on every flat roof to provide more solar energy for water heating system. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.